Hi, and welcome to Bill's Signal Groom. Today I thought I'd do a species profile on the Herotalapia multispinosa, also known as the Rainbow Cichlid. The males can grow to 5 to 6 inches, with females a little smaller. They come from Central America, countries such as Nicaragua, North Costa Rica and the Atlantic side of Honduras. They are a relatively peaceful cichlid and can be kept in the community of similar sized fishes, including tetras and other community type fish. The temperature range is pretty standard, 76 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit, with a pH of about neutral. They feed on just about anything, flakes, pellets, frozen food, anything you can put in the tank really. Sexing them can be a bit tricky unless they are breeding, but the males are a little bigger with longer fins. They don't form lasting pairs, I have a group of five of them, and the male regularly spawns with at least two different females sometimes at the same time. Here's some fry with the other female from a couple of days before. They have quite big spawns for a fish of this size approximately about 200 fry and the fry grow very quickly. It's best to remove some of the fry if you want to grow them on as they get picked off after a few days in the community tank. Here's the female laying her eggs. The male will come across quite quickly and fertilise the eggs. If any of the eggs aren't fertilised, the female will normally pick them off. They are easy to breed in the community tank. Here's the second female who's just laid eggs on top of the slate cave. The male stands guard, making sure no other fish come near. You can feed the fried baby brine shrimp and crushed powdered flakes and move them onto frozen cyclops after about a week. These fry are about three months old. Herotalapia multispinosa are commonly called the rainbow cichlid as they change colour quite rapidly from a dull brown to intense yellow depending on the mood. When guarding the fry they actually go really dark on the bottom half of the body and the top stays yellow. They are a great Central American cichlid to keep, one of my favourites. They're easy to keep, easy to breed and full of character.
let's sit back and enjoy this popular cichlid and I hope to do more species profiles in the near future. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.